hi guys welcome to my youtube channel so in today's video i'm going to teach you how to invest in stock for beginners a step by step tutorial so this video is basically going to be a course or a mini course you can say and it is a, itself highly recommended that you watch it from start to end so that you can now basics of how are you going to judge a stock or what is the market cap of the company so let's jump on to the video let's get an idea about what new york stock exchange is so basically it's a stock exchange where you can buy stocks which are listed in us or across the globe but there are certain regulations which each company has to follow when they need to register themselves on new york stock exchange so new york stock exchange nickname as like the big board is an american stock exchange and it's world's largest stock exchange by market capitalization and it has listed like companies around like 30.1 trillion dollars as of february 2020 and it has been running from a while so new york stock exchange is owned by intercontinental exchange it's an american holding company new york stock exchange is also the short form is nyse so i will show you about how you can judge a stock and which stocks are like potential buyers at the moment and what sort of profit you can get in next coming years so whenever you are talking about stocks so you might have heard of three things so one is called as s and p 500 nasdaq and dow so let me give you a brief idea about what these terms are so s p 500 is basically it lists the top 5000 companies by the size and nasdaq is basically listing the above top 330 largest companies of the us so let's take an example of johnson and johnson mcdonald's and coca-cola so they are listed on dow and in terms of s p 500 so look at look into let's say tesla microsoft and most of the tech companies so let's go with the brokers which you can find to trade stocks and before that uh, let's take a look on what are basically the parameters which you can find or what parameters you need to evaluate before buying a stock the first parameter which you will be looking at is price to book ratio the second parameter is price to earning ratio the third parameter is price to earning growth ratio and the fourth one is dividend yield so as you know most of the companies they give you annual dividends or let's say a quarterly dividend depending on the earnings so a good example of that is apple share it gives you regular earnings however tesla microsoft and some other companies they don't have dividend policies but there are good chances you can double your money in coming years i'll give you a brief idea about the brokers uh, which brokers you can use to trade stocks um since i'm living in australia so there are different brokers which allow you to trade in australia and the us also so the first broker which is I will highly recommend this called as Gemini so you just need to sign up and you can trade your stocks and it also allows you to buy cryptocurrency I have also made videos for cryptocurrency if someone is interested so I'll leave a link in the description and you will get a pop-up video also the second broker is Moomoo so it's also a, one of the popular brokers which is growing day by day and the third one is stake which i have been using it from last three years and they are very good and there is zero brokerage fees most of the brokers now offering you a zero brokerage fees even your trade stock so you won't be charged with nothing the good thing about stake is whenever you refer someone so you get a free stock so let's say i have a referral code so whenever somebody is going to join the link so automatically i will get one stock and that stock could be let's say gopro or tesla or google so you can make a good profit of that you can immediately sell it and reinvest the money so let's go back and the other broker is it's one of the new broker 
which has been recently started so it's called as tiger brokers then there is plus 500 which is very common and there is interactive brokers it's very popular and eToro you can use eToro the good thing about eToro is so let's say if there is a major investor and you can see like his portfolio is constantly growing so what you can do is you can simply invest your money and copy his trade activity so whenever he's doing a trade you will immediately get a trade done and your portfolio will grow as his portfolio is growing and the other the local brokers which we are using in australia are let's say comsec so i've used it to trade stocks in australia and there is nab trade and there are many more but these are the popular ones which you can sign up and start trading so the question here is when there is a new investor or when somebody starts to invest in stocks so what are the main things which they need to look after so personally i use three parameters so the first one is cap market what is the cap market of that particular company and what are their regular earnings because you need to keep a look into your news like global news politics because politics involve a lot of impact on shares because as you have seen like recently shares have been going very low because of russia and ukraine war and it has also impacted badly when there was COVID. and the good thing about stocks is always remember when stock is going down don't do panic sell it's a good time for you to buy and do a dollar cost average stuff what i've noticed it whenever there is a decline in the market so people start like panic selling they will keep on selling the shares and let's say you bought share worth of hundred dollars and market has collapsed and you are selling it at sixty dollars so you are just wasting your money you have lost forty dollars on the other hand if i was on your place so what i'll do is the share has reached a minimum value i'll reinvest two hundred dollars more so that when the shares go back to its normal price i can make double the profit so let's start with few stuff so mostly i follow google finance so it will give you daily news on let's say dow jones what's the percentage it has increased s p 500 nasdaq and few other stuff the top stocks which i feel will grow in future is i've listed few of them so we'll go through one by one but let's start with uh, let's start with the stuff which I'm talking about so the first thing which I wanted to share with you guys is it's the market cap which is more important so always remember you have to look into the market cap and then invest there are chances maybe you will get a reference from someone and you will say oh this stock is like let's say listed at cents and there are chances that it will go to maybe let's say 400 percent growth but that's a risky investment that investment is basically for people who are advanced traders and they now even if they lose money so they are like mentally prepared but for a beginner or a new investor i know like people can get panic let's say you have invested 500 dollars and after five or six days you see it has went to 300 dollars so i know you feel like disappointed but again the good thing in stocks is you keep on holding it for years and then you can see the profit so let's look into the market cap for a few companies so on number one it's apple and it's been a while so it's 2.851 trillion dollars second is microsoft then so the aramco it was a new surprise for me like they have grown a lot then you have got google amazon tesla so let's look into one by one so if i check apple stock here so let me search it so the things which you need to look after is so let's look into the market cap as we have done already year range like 118 to 182 day range and previously when it was closed so let's click on max first and then i'll show you what i'm talking about so if you have invested in this stocks let's suppose in 2019 or even 2020 so you can see exactly on february 16 2018 when pandemic was started 
so the price was 43.11 so if we go back one year so as you can see 44.15% stock has already increased go back to a year and date as you know this year was not good for stock market but six months it still increased at 20% in last one month 5% so if I look into the longer term so let's say the share is 174 per one share so if I invest maybe let's say $1,000 so I can easily say like after five years or six years I can see this price going to maybe 600 or 900 dollars and same goes with Tesla so let's take a look into Tesla so Tesla is one of the companies in which I invested and I made a fortune so my money has went twice so let's look into the graph of five years so you can see it has went up 1715 percent so when I bought my Tesla shares so I started them exactly when the pandemic started so it was so let's take a look it was around this time and the share was around $66 and you can imagine that share has that share is basically on $1000 at the moment and this company is a promising company which will keep on growing in future and you can make a good fortune another company which I wanted to highlight and I have already invested in it so it's called as NEO so it's a Chinese company the market cap is 30.74 billion USD now let's look into the funny part so if you go on a five-year graph you can see the maximum price for the share when it reached was $61 and now it has bounced back to 20 so this is a good time to invest in this particular company so let's say if you can buy shares worth of maybe $1000 so when the price will jump there is a surety in stock market if a stock has went to a correction or fallen below the price after a couple of years or maybe a year or two it is 100% surety that the stock will jump back to its maximum price so imagine if you can buy like shares worth of maybe thousand dollars or two thousand dollars I can guarantee you it will surely jump back to at least 50 and you can calculate your profit the other companies which I'm looking at at the moment is I'll show you the portfolio which I have been currently looking so let me go back to my portfolio okay so the companies which currently I'm trading mostly are Amazon as you know Amazon is one of the biggest company in terms of like tech giant and they have been launching tons of new technologies Pfizer is a stable investment because it helped a lot in pandemic Neo Fortinet Fortinet is one of like tech companies which make firewalls and some other products this share was around maybe $90 recently and you can see it went to $332 NIU, NIU is another EV company. Then you have Facebook, ChargePoint. ChargePoint is a company which is making charging docking stations for your EV vehicles. And you know, the future is EV because there will be a time most people will get out of petrol cars and they will move, jump to EV. And in terms of tech companies, so you can see like Microsoft, Apple, Google. Google is a big company where you can invest and it's a long-term growth. And as you know, people are jumping more into crypto. One of the reasons why Nvidia and G4 share has increased huge is basically because of the graphic card and GPUs. Then Zoom is a good company, but I won't recommend you to buy shares much because they have already reached higher and came back. And try to focus more on the EV stocks which is future and Google is one of the major stakeholders and if we look into the three year graph so you can see during the pandemic all of the companies went like they were beated badly in stocks but only Google was one of the company which remained stable and it kept growing so it is a stable graph so even in like pandemic their price was $1100 if you would have invested now so you can easily have made $1,800 per share and you can also look into Yahoo Finance news like you can subscribe it you will get 
latest news on what market has like how market is behaving how things are going with the stocks and what is the daily change and there is a pre-market and post-market depending on the news another share which i recently bought is called as dogz it's a chinese company so it's again it's a it was a miracle when i bought it so i'll show you how it was so let's look into the one year chart okay so when i was given a signal by one of my colleagues so i bought this one around 1.76 dollar and all of a sudden the company growth went to 8.4 this company is basically again as i said it's like a big risk some sort of like penny stock company but i took the risk so i bought it at 1.76 and the share went to 8 so on each share i have made 700 percent profit but the decline was all of a sudden the company jumped from 8.41 to 3.4 so when i was reading into their financials and all of that stuff so i was being told that all of the major stakeholders they pull out the money because their job was done and that's how most of the major investor which we call them whales they keep on taking out their money and that's how stock market works but if you want to invest in a stable income so it's again as i said like look into the market cap value if you want to go for a more safer investment i would highly encourage you to look into arc etf funds so let me show you some of the arc etf funds so let me open their website so i can give you a good idea so arc etf fund is basically run by a lady called as kathy and they are basically investing they have built their own portfolios of tech aerospace and they have listed most of their companies so let's take an example so it says arc innovation etf and then robotics and multiple like portfolios so let's look into the most famous one so it's arc innovation so let me click on that and it says like the current value is at 64 so we can check this particular one on let's say google so i will type arc innovation okay so let's look at their five year chart okay so the value during pandemic was 38 dollars and it kept on going and they have given a big profit to people and it went to 156 dollars but as you can see it is again on the decline which is 66 dollars so if i look into last six months so you can see there is a 44 percent decline which means it's still the right time to invest and hold it for maybe like next two to three years and you will get a good return and the other thing which i wanted to highlight is you need to look into eps values so let's take an example of neo so new EPS earnings. Okay. So if we go here and you can find news about all of the companies, whatever stock you are typing. So now it says, will the Neo share price stall on its fourth quarter earnings announcement? So I'll show you one of the stuff. So Neo quarterly earnings. okay so if you look into the financials of the company the reason why this stock is basically declining so in the quarter third of 2021 their eps was missed by 20 percent and in quarter fourth of 2021 their eps missed by 22 percent what this means is they were not able to meet their targets in third and fourth quarter of 2021 which has caused a decline in their stock and if i look into the graph of that company the moment such news come in the market so you can see in just one day they went down to 9.42 percent and this trend will keep on going so i am going to buy more shares of this particular stock which is called as neo and i've already invested in tesla and google but i know after a year or maybe five years i know where i'm standing and as per the experts since we are moving to ev i can definitely assure you there is highly chances this share will easily go to 200 and 300 
So keep this investment like for a longer run, maybe for your kids' tuition fees or their university fees. But you can and keep it for maybe like next five to ten years. And trust me, you will get a good profit out of it. So that's how you can invest in stocks, look into the market cap, and there are particular blogs which you can follow on daily basis and keep yourself up to date. And you can join any of the broker, but as I said, I'll highly recommend Stake. I've been trading with them from last four to five years, and they have portfolio for both. So they have Wall Street and they have Australian stock exchange also in terms of australian stock exchange for my audience in australia so if they are looking to invest in something so i can show you a couple of stocks which i found them very attractive for the longer run so the first one is zip zip sorry i have to go back here yeah so zip is basically a financial company which allows you to do payments and in installment so let's look into their chart and see what i'm talking about so imagine this company during pandemic was at like 1.21 dollars and now it is back to 1.52 dollars which is a big decline but look at the highest price which is 12.35 aud so if you buy a share let's say of worth of 1.52 dollars now imagine it is going back to its highest peak at 12 and you can make 1000 percent profit of it and whenever you are typing a share in google news so there is a good blog called as the multi fool it will keep you updated on what is the current statistics of that but if you look into their revenue it's growing by 88.5 percent and it's a promising company in the future run the other one which i'm talking about is afterpay So Afterpay share price is, Afterpay has been renamed now and this was listed before on ASX and the other stock which I will recommend you is investing in a banking sector which is more stable and during the Russia and Ukraine war so there is a stock by Bank of Russia. Yeah, sorry, Suburb Bank of Russia. So let's look into the price of that. Yeah. So this stock is basically traded on London Stock Exchange, which they have stopped now because of the sanctions. But in case if this stock trading opens or anything of that sort, currently they are basically getting traded on Russian stock exchanges, not on London Stock Exchange. But look into the longer run so see it has been declined constantly so if i look into five days or let's say six months so you can see it has declined on 60 percent and let's look into the chart of london stock exchange where they have delisted it so the stock has went back to 99 percent down and look at here which I wanted to discuss is yeah yeah so as you can see they have stopped trading they will not allow you to trade because of the sanctions but look into the price of this one so let's look into the three years chart so it is at 20 pounds but now it has been on some cents which is 0 0.04 cents so in case this stock gets open on london stock exchange you can still buy it and you can calculate the profit return it will be 20 000 percent profit in case you are buying it so yeah that's it from today's video so i'll in the future videos i'm going to explain more on these brokerage websites how you can make account what things you need to uh, look into like let's say financial terms or anything and then buy stocks accordingly so thank you for watching this video and hope you guys have a great one thank you